Hey guys, it's Josh Spottick from Capture Computers here in Piermont to test out Prototype 2. And with me is producer at Radical Entertainment, Jonathan Lim. How you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm not too bad. How are you enjoying Sydney? Uh, it's fantastic. I, I've really enjoyed it so far. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's get into the game. Okay, Prototype 2. You, Mercer is not the main character. That is he's correct. A, he's still a vital part of the story, uh, but he's not the main character, like you said. Yes. So he's the, he's the antagonist, actually. Uh, we have a new main character, we have a new protagonist, that's uh, James, uh, Sergeant James Heller. Can you tell us a little bit more about him? Yeah. Well, Sergeant James Heller is a military man at heart, and he was stationed abroad during the original outbreak of the virus back in 2009. So he comes back from his tour of duty and finds that his wife and his, his child are lost in, in the war against uh, the infection. So. Yeah, he, he, different people deal with loss different ways and how he deals with it is anger and he wants to basically rid New York of, of the virus and goes about it in his own way. Um, when playing the game, there's a little bit of a revenge story going on with Mercer and Hella. Um, did, is this the focus of the game or is it, is it much more than that? Uh, I can safely say it's much more than that. I think you've already played through yeah. a little bit. and. Nothing is always what it seems, and I think that's kind of true of this game as well as the first. Um, where, you know, Heller is hellbent on getting rid of the virus, and he sees that Mercer is basically the linchpin for what happened. He's got to release the virus in New York, so he puts all his focus on that. But as you'll play the game, you understand that, you know, there's shades of gray between black and white, mm -hmm. and I think that's where the interesting stories Well, speaking of the prototype universe, you guys have teamed up with Dark um, Horse Comics mm -hmm. to bring an abridged well, three volumes of comics where there were a bri the bridge first and second. How did that come about? Well, I think a lot of people, I'm sure like yourself, are interested in seeing what happened to Alex between mm -hmm. the first game and the second game. You know, what really changed with him? How how has New York coped with the virus in that time as well? And we talked about bringing some of that into the game, but it didn't make sense. I think it focused too much on the past. Yeah. And so this was a great way, like you said, to bridge kind of the events from the first to the second game. Okay, speaking about sort of gameplay, um, how would you tie it all within the story? Like, do they intertwine very well? Or the gameplay? The gameplay and the story, yeah. How they work. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge focus. Um, for one thing, the how you get powers as Heller is a little bit different from the first game. If, I don't know how familiar you are, but in the first game, when um, you kill different things, you got some evolution points, and that was your currency to get new skills mm -hmm. and uh, get new abilities. And that was really abstract in terms of how it fit into the game universe. This time around, we're doling out powers through consuming things. Consuming brawlers now gives you claws, and so on and so forth. So that's just one of the ways we've kind of tied the gameplay and the story yeah. a little bit tighter together. That's good. Um, there's no multiplayer. But I'm guessing that's because of um, guessing that it wouldn't work with the game. Would, did you guys see that that way, or did you guys say maybe we shouldn't, you know, maybe we shouldn't really do any multiplayer for the game? Or? I mean, that was another kind of long discussion <laughs> at the start of Prototype Two, um, and you're right, there is no multiplayer, mostly because in looking at what our team was good at and the things that we wanted to do, which is tell really compelling kind of a story with, with James Heller now, mm. um, multiplayer would definitely affect our ability to do that in terms of competing for resources. And mm. to be honest, our genre, the kind of open world melee action, um, doesn't lend itself to multiplayer really well in, in, in the ways that we want it to anyway. So, um, you know, in, in talking to our partners at Activision, they were really supportive, like, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Cool. Um, okay, let's talk about your role in, okay. the, as in the game design. You're a producer of the, of the game? That's right, yeah. Um, so what does that involve? Uh, being a producer means uh, you sit in a lot of meetings. I mean, you're kind of the ultimate facilitator. You're hopefully bringing people together and kind of solving the problems as you go along. Um, I don't think there's any one thing I do on a day-to-day -day basis that I can be like, yeah, that makes me a producer. It's just a kind of conglomeration of making sure that uh, we're making the best game we can. Cool. And how long has uh, Prototype 2 been in development? It's been in development over two years now, and uh, i got to tell you, it's a long <laughs> process. <laughs> uh, I, I would imagine, but um, okay, uh, let's talk about the fan base. Now, it's Prototype awesome. it's, uh, it's all this massive fan base. Um, how did that help create Prototype 2? Uh, the ease, oh, sorry, the most obvious way it kind of helped us is that the fans had a lot of feedback mm -hmm. from the first game. Um, you know, in looking at 
even things like reviews, which are hugely important, but maybe a smaller subset of people, um, and then you know, kind of gaming blogs and, and things of that nature. I think we we got a rich, um, rich, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, just source of feedback. And there's mm. everybody's got their opinions of the game, and what was really nice about it, it is it all kind of centered on a few key things that we were able to look at and say, okay, this gives us kind of an action plan of things that we need to do to improve prototype. Yeah, and, that's how, and how's the reaction from the same fan base so far from all the previews that they've, they've seen or even played? Uh, I mean, it's been pretty strong so far. You know, our Facebook fan page has got hundreds of thousands of people that are just, they're just cramming, or for, sorry, they're uh, jonesing for more information about the game and new screenshots and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, they've been a huge part of the, the hype that's built in around Prototype 2 so far. Uh, that's glad to hear. Um, you know, just playing it now, it's very. It looks very impressive. It, the gameplay is very. It's fun and it's it's amazing. <laughs> I love. Like I love it. the fact that you can. You know, just do a fly kick on a helicopter. <laughs> 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 you know, that, that's uh, that, that sort of thing. Really, Prototype uh, was like the was really the first game to sort of introduce a sort of you know freestyle sort of open ended. Yeah. Combat. Yeah, I mean, a, a big kind of pillar for us is the ultimate power fantasy, you know. If there are things you want to do in the game, chances are you're going to be able to do it. If you want to pick up a rocket launcher and fire it down the street, you can do it. If you want to uppercut a helicopter, you, know, <laughs> uh, you can do that. And, and it's, you know, putting this in players' hands, it, it's it's real treat for me to watch people play because, you know, as soon as they do things like that, there's a huge smile that just kind of spreads across their face, and you know, that's, that gets me really excited about yeah. the game. I do have to ask this question: How relieved are you guys that you actually can sell this in Australia, considering your strict classification laws? Well, you know, Prototype One made it through, um, and you know, in terms of the content, it's very similar to Prototype One um, in terms of the execution of how we did the content. So, uh, you know, it's it's not a done deal yet, but I'm hopeful that uh, we'll get through. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. When can we expect prototype and are we going to see a demo? <laughs> <laughs> you can expect prototype on April 24, 2012, yeah. so just a few short months yeah. away. I don't believe we finalized our demo strategy yet, so I, I don't know either way, but uh, either way, hopefully you guys will get a chance to play it in April. All right, well, thank you, John, for coming down here and showing us prototype 2. Uh, ho hopefully it sells well and it gets rave reviews, so. Cheers. Well, thank you, you very thank much. You. Okay, this is Josh Spider from Cash Computers signing out.